Basically guys, I'm doing a day trip from London to the Coxwalls and basically I'll be showing you some of the best villages in the Coxwalls to see. So if you like the sounds of that, stick around. The first stop of the day will be the small town of Burgford. Known as the gateway to the Coxwalls, Burford is one of England's most unchanged medieval towns, where many of the buildings are nearly 600 years old. So guys, the first town that I would recommend to visit when you're visiting the Coxwalls is Burford. And it's basically considered the gateway to the Coxwalls because it's right on the tip and it has some amazing local shops, local gallery. I saw this really cool like local bakery. I wanted to go in but I'm pressed for time. So this is one of the towns that you definitely should come like just go walking up the hill. You'll see the most like fabulous like, cute little cottages and they all have these like little distinct names. Like one was called the Walrus um, Cottage. So I definitely recommend that if you're coming you visit this town. Bilberry, often described as the prettiest village in all of England, wander along the gentle river and see the iconic Arlington Row, a set of weavers' cottage. Bilberry is an unmissable Coxwall destination, so make sure you leave plenty of time to explore this charming town. Okay guys, so I hope you can see this glorious view behind me. I'm just gonna tilt my camera a little bit, but I bet you without a doubt, if you Google Coxwalls, this is the image that you will find on Google, without a doubt. Every image of the Coxwalls is this one. <laughs> Can you believe? It, it is even more stunning in person because just in front of it here, I hope you can see, it's like a field of kind of yellowish flowers. There's a river just in front of it with like, like a family of, um, I think, swans floating around. It's the most idyllic, quintessential English as you can get is like this place here <laughs> but this is a great area and if you're a hiker this is a place for you because they actually do hiking tours like a full three days of just hiking around the Coxwall and you get to see stunning images like this one basically untouched by men <laughs> Finally dubbed the Venice of the Coxwalls, this delightful place is one of the best Coxwall villages to visit. As its name suggests, Burton on the Water features storybook stone cottages peppered alongside the river Windrush. While Burton on the Water looks nothing like Venice, the comparison is due to the charming little fruit bridges that crosses the winding river. This adds even more to the aesthetic appeal of the scenic town. Oh wow, we're in Burton on the wall. Look how cute this is. This little river apparently is the Venice of the Coxwalls and it's Burton on the water. I think it's Burton on the water. But look, look how cute this is. And apparently someone nicknamed it um, the Venice of the Coxwalls. A jumble of ancient inns and antique shops located around the market square. Stow has been a center of trade in the Coxwall for centuries and is known historically as the location of the last battle of the English Civil War in 1646. The town has provided inspirations to many including J.R.R. Tolkien. Why not visit England's oldest pub and have a traditional British lunch and a pint? So guys, the next up on our list is Stow on the Wall 
and right, like as you can see I'm next to a wall but behind on the other side of the wall is a church and apparently this church has inspired people like J.R.R. Tolkien um, and other inspiration so basically one thing you will notice about this little town is the antique shops they have lots of antique shops and little like um, tea houses <sighs> guys it's so it's so quintessentially british if you want a relaxing day you just want to look around browse shops they have also a really great um cheese cheese shop this is the place to go also i learned like alleyways like this and like the narrow alleyways that you will see when you visit this town were built because a lot of farmers back in the day used to bring their sheep here to trade and so at, at any one point they could have up to like a couple thousand sheep in the center of the town so basically there are cute little alleyways around where you could drive your sheep through so don't you think that's like really cool and they still exist because I passed one just on the way to one of the tea houses so definitely it's a place where there's lots to discover I think the light is better from over here guys but look just behind me at the slaughters oh, it's so pretty and there's some little kids playing in the like this little river the watermelon is all the way over there but it's such a quiet place you it's it's a lot quieter than a lot of the villages that we've been to but i highly recommend this and i came in winter but i actually prefer it in summer because in winter everything was cold it was it was hailing and then all the trees you couldn't see all the flowers so if you want to see it at its best i would recommend coming in summer Bampton, a traditional village in the Coxwall region and recognizable as a filming location from the TV series Downton Abbey, Bampton doubles as the fictional village of Downton and is where many of the scenes were filmed. Explore the village as you see Mrs. Crawley's house, St. Michael's Church, the Cottage Hospital and much more. So guys, uh, this next town we're in is called Bampton. I hope I'm saying that right. So basically, if you watch Downton Abbey, you will recognize this church behind me, like this is the church, and you'll recognize this house over there behind me, because apparently, I don't watch this, this um, series, but apparently that's the house where you they film all their like scenes in, and this is the church where they do all the weddings and possibly death as well, you know, in those times. Um, everything is closed at the moment, but you can see it's, it's quite, I like this building over here. The main house is quite beautiful. It's more simple than a lot of the houses that I've seen in the Coxwall, but it's still quite beautiful. And guys, unfortunately, this is where, uh, this is my final stop on the tour. And this is my final like kind of town for you guys to see. It's a smaller town, but it's still beautiful to come and see, especially if you're a fan of the TV series. So if you like this view, this Coxwell travel guide, um, and you like this, this kind of, this is giving you ideas on day trips to do from London, definitely smash that like button and leave me a comment below.